What's going on? I hope you all are good. So, as I'm sure you all have seen, the new Ahsoka trailer was amazing, well edited, gave us new information, gave us new scenes to break down, but didn't spoil too much, didn't give too much away, and it gave us all the excitement that we wanted from an Ahsoka trailer, especially the official one. But the one scene that we're going to break down today is when Balin says to Ahsoka, do you know what? Let me just play it for you. Anakin spoke highly of you. Anakin spoke highly of you. Anakin spoke highly of you. <laughs> yeah, in my opinion, the coolest and most exciting scene in the trailer. Balin says to Ahsoka, Anakin spoke highly of you. Now, when I heard him say that, I was in disbelief. I had to hear it again. I didn't even know if I heard it properly it's too crazy to be true and all i can say is dave filoni knows how to get the fans excited for any of his products but anyway of course after hearing that all of us are going to have theories about what that means and so i'm going to try and explain to you guys what i think this means and basically explain how i think balan knows anakin and try to make as much sense of it as i can with the information that we've been given so getting into it, the first thing that most of us are going to think is that Balin and Anakin grew up together in the Jedi Temple. They trained together as younglings and as apprentices. They could have been very close friends or even the closest of friends, which would be pretty cool because that storyline would remind me of Naruto and Shigamaru from the Naruto series. Because just like Naruto, Anakin wasn't really fitting in with the class, considering everyone else at Anakin's age were training to be Jedis since they were a baby. They've known each other for much longer than Anakin has known them. So Anakin never really fit in and that's just like Naruto because he had the nine tails inside of him and everyone was scared of him as a kid. Even the adults in the village were too scared to be around him. So he didn't fit in either as a kid. But there was this one kid called Shikamaru who gave him a chance to prove that he is just a normal kid and a nice person and was friends with him. And so I think this could be the case with Balin where Anakin's not really fitting in with everyone. But Balin's the one peer in his class that gives him a chance and decides to be friends with him and so they grew up with each other and trained with each other whenever they could considering they had different masters so they couldn't be around each other all the time but when they could they'd meet up and talk about how their training went that day and what they've learned and honestly they could have even trained together without anyone knowing just as friends just trained you know in the star wars universe they probably run off they might even leave the jedi headquarters at night just to be adventurous and go on little missions we see this in shows all the time where someone like anakin who's so rogue doesn't really follow the rules but is a badass would have been doing his own thing and making some crazy decisions at a young age like going to places they shouldn't because they're so curious about the new world that they've joined so i can see a backstory of him and balin just being so close since young so they train with each other which of course would make balin a very good jedi training with anakin for that long and in my opinion it would be a cool and badass backstory to have balin be anakin's best friend as a jedi apprentice but I have to say there is one thing that throws me off about this theory and that is the timeline and the age of Balin compared to the age of Anakin because I know that Rebels takes place 14 years after Order 66 and so I'm not sure I probably should have searched before making this video but then again none of this is scripted I'm just explaining my theory how it comes to me so I hope I'm explaining this well but yeah I don't know how old Anakin is at this time but I'm pretty sure in Revenge of the Sith that he was 23 years old so 14 years after that will make him 37 but then I don't know how long Ahsoka takes place after the ending of Rebels and so in my mind I imagine Anakin being quite a bit younger than Balin and of course we know that Balin was a Jedi Knight before he turned to the dark side whatever happened there and so I just don't know how they're ages compared to each other but I imagine that they're around the same age maybe Balin's a bit older or maybe my estimate is just wrong and Anakin's actually older than Balin I'm not sure but if any of you know let me know down below it would help a lot with my theory and I'd appreciate that knowledge to take on with me in the future for future videos but anyways, carrying on with my theory, I think it would be awesome if Balin and Anakin were really close friends or even best friends low-key, but no one really knew all the way up until Order 66. Just imagine how badass it would be if Anakin and Balin come across each other in the Jedi Temple during Order 66 and Balin is the only Jedi that Anakin kind of hesitates with. Balin's confused, he's asking Anakin why he's doing this. Where did this come from? It would have to be a short one because of course it's a very chaotic time, but it could be very tense, very emotional. Balin would have to quickly realize that, okay, my best friend all this time has completely changed. I don't know what's happened, but he's killing all the Jedi in the temple right now. And now he's going to kill me. So I have to put my emotions aside and my feelings aside and defend myself and take this powerful foe 
out. You can only imagine the fear that Balin is feeling in this moment because he knows more than anyone, low-key, apart from Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, of course, how powerful Anakin really is and the potential that he holds inside of him. If anyone's seen the potential, it's Balin, who's been training with him since they were young. He's seen all his best moves. He's seen how talented Anakin really is. So he's so scared in this situation, but he fights him and I imagine he gets taken out. And honestly, from here on, I don't know what would happen. Maybe he gets pulled through the world between worlds by Thrawn or someone else, which saves him. And that's the start of his journey in the new beyond and basically working for Thrawn. Anyways, that's really it for this theory for now. I might have future theories about this that make more sense before the show drops. You'll either be right kind of right but kind of wrong or just completely wrong either way as always it's fun to theorize and i really hope i've explained this well enough for you guys to be able to follow along because i don't really make my videos a script i like to just freestyle and be in the moment and just talk about what i want to talk about because it's really fun and i like to have the discussion with you guys and i want it to be as authentic as it can possibly be for better or for worse so yeah i hope i explained it well enough for you to understand what do you think about it put it down below do you agree do you think it's stupid do you have your own theory that's much better let me know down below ahsoka is just around the corner how you doing, man? Oh, Breeze is ready for a bumpy ride. What? Because, hey, motherfucker. Man, if you don't, get out my fucking way. No, I, I, boss. Oh, what the? Oh, fuck no. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll come, I'll, I'll, we actually get to go in. Oh, wow. This is where Luke got frozen. No, this is where Han got frozen. Oh, this is cool. I guess if I jump in there, do I die? Guess we'll never know. But Vader, get out. Let's fight. Let's fight, Vader. Come on. This is sad. But you're going to go out like this. One bullet left. And you're dead. Come on, you're better than this. Come on, give me a real fight. Come on. <sighs> okay, B is to dodge. Okay, get used to it again. That's the block. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Okay, he's better with this dude. 